Welcome back Lady to Abocant Gaming. Today I've got some more of Minecraft, but not Minecraft, it's Pixelmon. Now, as Lady per the comments, I have renamed the two Pokemon I've caught so far. I've got my Totodile, which I've renamed as Lady Croc. Bye. And I've got my Ladybug, which has been replayed, renamed as Bubbles. Now, last episode, if I remember correctly, since it's been a couple days at least, we had just delivered the egg from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. We have gotten our second Pokemon, which is the Ladybug. And I can't remember where we're headed to next. I think we're supposed to be going to Violet City, if I remember correctly. But I might be mistaken. I'm gonna head over towards the uh, Cherry Grove and I will see you guys there. Okay, I think I've made it to the next town. This should be Cherry Grove. Okay. Now, Cherry Grove, when, from what I remember, I was supposed to go through Cherry Grove. I was supposed to go to Route 30, I hope, and make my way through there to be able to get to the Violet. So loud. Sorry about that. Um, to get to Cherry Grove, from Cherry Grove to Violet City. I'm hoping I'll be able to get some more Pokemon on my, for my team. Right now, I got Bubbles, which is fairly low level. I might have to do some experience grinding for that one, just to get them to be a little bit higher level than what they uh, currently are. Oh. Ladybug. This is a lot like the original Pokemon games, considering I keep getting attacked at random times every time I go into the grass. Ladybug. Okay. Back on track. Ah, attacked again. Okay. Lady Go away, bye. Caterpie. A lot of my video that uh, I'm going to be doing is going to seem kind of choppy at this point, just getting through this one patch. I keep Lady getting attacked bye. by random Pokemon, and all it is is just me sitting here clicking um, the same move over and over again. So I'm sorry if it seems a little bit choppy for now. It will be better once I get to somewhere new. But in the meantime, I'm getting a fair bit of experience for my Pokemon. Bubbles has made it up to level 7. I am curious what this is, because I know that's redstone, which is used for powering things. And there's no lights underneath this, which means that there must be um, something up top. I wonder if it's like the... Is that the... Uh, what's it called? The monorail? Not monorail. The rail system. The train. That would make sense. Metapod. Yeah, I don't want Metapod or Kakuna. Metapoda. Ooh, what is that? So, one advantage this game does have over the other ones, like the real version of the game, I can see things I'm probably not supposed to be able to see at this point. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the apricorn, which apricorns, for those who aren't familiar with the, uh, with the uh, Pokemon's apricorns, Apricorns are used to be able to make Pokeballs. And you bring them to a specific guy. I think his name was Kurt. Might be mistaken. But Kurt was the guy who would make Pokeballs from these almost like Lady seeds bye. the size of apples. That would have special things like a lure ball or heavy ball. Depending Lady on what bye. Apricorn you were to bring him. I know in this game... In Pixelmon, they are used to make the actual Pokeballs. Ladybug. In combination with use you usually with, I believe, iron. Kakuna. Ladybug. Okay, Bubbles, you can't die to Kakuna. Of all the things, a level 4 Kakuna. Let's try confusing it. Ladybug. Kakuna. Okay, it's just going to keep on increasing its um, defense. Ladybug. Is... Yes, confused it. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Pokemon, confusion means that there's a chance that the uh, Pokemon that is confused will be able to hurt themselves in combat. Ladybug. It's very handy for doing it something that continuously just buffs its own stats instead of doing any type of damage. As you can see, because it keeps using Harden, Ladybug. its defense has been increasing each time. Now, with this increased attack or increased defense, my attacks are doing less and less damage. So, Tackle has been kind of weak. Ladybug. I like how I'm not even like interested in this battle. I'm just off staring at something in the distance. The bug Pokemon over here. Whoa! Broke the world again. You done? 
Okay. <laughs> it's a giant weedle? Ladybug. That is a big weedle. I might have to capture that weedle. Ladybug. After I'm done taking care- Ugh, Don't tell me they're all lining up to try and battle me. I think one of these caterpillars is attacking me. Oh. Hey! And I think this one right here was attacking the weedle over here. Let's try catching this guy. Throw the Pokeball. And... Come on, weedle. Stop resisting. Skin the ball. No! My Pokeball! Uh. I want a weak... Let's see if I can get a better angle. Of the... Is that the giant one? Okay, let's see which one I'm... Fighting against. I think I'm fighting this guy right here. Yeah, that's definitely the one. Now that I've weakened his HP, it should be easier for me to catch with Pokeballs. Ladybug. Work. Broke free. Okay, let's try it again. Use its poison sting. Please don't poison Lady my bubbles. Uh, items. Pokeball. And I don't know why I'm throwing the Pokeball over here. The Weedle's definitely over here. <laughs> Aha! I caught it. So, in the comments, I hope you guys have already caught on. If you give me ideas for the uh, name for the Pokemon, I will try and choose whichever one's going to be the best. In this case, which one I think is going to be the best. It may not be the one that you've that uh, you've suggested, but it may be. We will see. In this case, I have a new chunk of boy, a massive uh, Weedle. Now the Weedle itself, let's see what size it is. You can see it's enormous. <laughs> Basically, it's just really, really big. <laughs> My um, Bubbles is ordinary, and same thing with my Totodile, but I've got an enormous Weedle. No comments on the enormous Weedle. I know it's a caterpillar, a worm type thing. Stop. No. <laughs> it's just the way my, uh, my enormous Weedle. <laughs> I'm actually gonna swap for Weedle. So Weedle be the Pokemon I send out when I- oh. It's low health right now. So I guess I'll stick with, yeah, I'll stick with Weedle, and I'll just swap him out at the beginning of each battle. This way, he'll be able to get some experience from doing the battle since he's participated, but he's not going to be uh, continuously taken out by all these low-level Pokemon. Wait, did I just get turned around? Ah, oh, I did. Okay, sprint. Okay, so I got my Chunka Boy Weedle. I've got my Croc and Bubbles. I wish there was a healing spot here. I might have to go back to the town to be able to go heal. Or get attacked by level 4 Caterpie. Okay, as I said, I'm going to swap out my Pokemon. This way I can send out um, a stronger Pokemon that's a little bit, um, well, much better health. This way I can raise up my uh, Pokemon that's weak. And still give them experience without them dying as easily. And by dying, I do mean fainting. Although... All these fainted Pokemon are being left outside on the ground in a trail everywhere that I go. Sort of like a path to find me. So if... Metapod. Could you imagine if the Pokemon actually were left behind on the ground? Okay, I think if I go this way, I might be able to go through here. Oh yes, this is the place I couldn't get through before. I'll be back here in a moment. Just gonna go and kill my Pokemon quickly and then we shall carry on from here. Okay, so... I've gone and healed my Pokemon, gone to a battle on the way here, nothing really eventful happened, but we're now back on the right path to where we need to be. I wonder, can I battle you again? Nope. Okay, let's bring you back. Oh, okay, back in battle. You, you've had a weak Pokemon. Oh, but it's a Pidgey. If it knows any flying moves, Weedle is a bug-type Pokemon. So it will be weak against flying type moves if the Pidgey knows how to use any flying moves like Gust. Now you'll see, it's going to specify that it's super effective and took out a good chunk of Weedle's HP, which is very unfortunate. Uh, just for the sake of not losing my Weedle this fast, 
I'm going to send out Croc. Come back, my enormous... Uh, my enormous Weedle, get back to your ball. Okay. I've also looked at the stats before I started recording today. And yes, Rage does get stronger the more damage you take. And the more frequently you take damage. But Scratch is stronger. Just a little bit. As you can see, Rage does uh, Rage has an attack power of 20 with an accuracy of 100. Scratch has an attack power of 40 with an accuracy of 100. Now, Bite, which is the new move. Ooh, 60. I'm going to get rid of Leer because that one just lowers the target's um, defense stat. And I don't usually use a whole lot of those type of moves. And we're going to try out the new attack on this Rattata. Oof! <laughs> I just kind of crunched it, which makes sense considering my um, Pokemon's a little bit of a higher level. What's this say? Trainer tips! No stealing other people's Pokemon! Pokeballs can only be thrown at wild Pokemon. That is true! In the Pokemon world, it is generally frowned upon trying to steal other people's Pokemon, which I guess does make complete sense. Imagine if I was like in the real world and you were to walk up to somebody who's walking their dog, grab their dog and run away. Same idea. <laughs> but only if the dog was like a fire breathing, dark energy dog that could incinerate you. <laughs> I am not a trainer. Hey, this is Holly. But if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Okay, I could have could have mentioned that long before. Okay. Ooh, are you a trainer? You are. I think for this one, we'll start with Weedle and then I'll swap out to Bubbles and then potentially Croc. You're not even looking towards me! Our eyes never met because you're facing away from me. What are you using? Oh, a Caterpie! Uh, let's try and poison this Pokemon. Now, Caterpie is just a bug type, while Weedle actually has two types for its type. It is both bug and poison. Which means that I will get a something called a same type attack bonus, or stab, um, when using types that the Pokemon is. In this case, I get a stab bonus, or stab, when I use both poison or bug type attacks. Now what that is, essentially, is it means that your attacks will do an extra amount of damage. I believe it's, instead of doing um, times 1 damage, it does times 1.5. I might be mistaken about that. If you guys do know the correct amount, please put it in the comments below. Just because I can't remember and I could look it up. But this is more fun. <laughs> no, Weedle! My, my ginormous Weedle got, or enormous one, not ginormous. Enormous Weedle got taken out by a level 3 Caterpie. Ugh, okay, Bubbles. Lady now, Bubbles bug. is also a dual type Pokemon. It's both bug and flying. Ooh, Swift. When did it learn Swift? Ladybug. Swift is a cool move because it does decent damage, but it never misses. Ladybug. So if you're going to get something that's going to constantly lower... Um, either your accuracy or increase its own evasiveness. Swift is great to use Lady because bug. no matter what, it's going to hit. <laughs> so, barring um, it disappearing off the entire map. <laughs> Ooh, argh, you're too strong. I've got 48 Poke Dollars from that. Nice. Ah, so this is where I was before. And that means, yeah, that's Mr. Pokemon's house right there. And I don't have any revive, so I can't bring, uh, I can't revive my Weedle. My enormous Weedle. <laughs> I can't get through here because there's two trees and I've got my thick butt. Uh, if I go through there, I'm going to get spammed by, I think these two are fighting each other. Okay, place your bets. Do you think it's going to be this one or this one that wins? I'm going to vote for the one on the right. Come on. 
do something more effective. Fuck, I'm getting kind of portless. <laughs> oh, but now I'm invested in to see which one actually wins. Watch, it's gonna get- it's gonna win the battle? Oh! Oh, I lost! Ah, oh, fine. Ooh, that's a big spider. And a bell sprout? Bell sprout, come back! Bell sprout. Okay. Okay. Bell sprout. Spinarak, bell sprout. I don't really want a bell sprout. Are you a trainer? Bell sprout. Your face is crooked. Fisherman Joe, Dark Cave. If a Pokemon can light it up, I'd explore it. Unfortunately, I don't have any Pokemon that can light up the cave. So... Oh, it's dark in here, but I can still somewhat see. Hey! Hey! What? Oh no, the Zubats! No, I hate the Zubats! Oh, flashbacks of horrible times of Zubats attacking me like crazy! Okay. Zubat fainted. I gotta get out of this cave. Where was the exit? Nope. Nope. Ugh. Dark cave. Whoa, thanks. Ooh, potion. Ugh, but yeah, in the Pokemon games, it used to be that every time you went into the cave, you get spammed with Zubat after Zubat after Zubat. Occasionally, you get attacked by like a Clefairy, but mostly Zubats. Anything cool in here? Poliwag. No, you're not cool. You're just Poliwag. Okay. Poliwag. We'll leave that place alone. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that cave. Once I get... Back to the cave. That cave. Once I get something that's gonna be a little more suited towards going to there. Poliwag. What do you have to say? Poliwag. Herman. Hmm. Huh? Poliwag. Poliwag. I walked far. Poliwag. I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt, and I'm sleepy. Poliwag. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Poliwag. 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 More Apricorns? Poliwag. Just gonna... Poliwag. Poop. And poop. Poliwag. Just cause I have no point in carrying them. Would you shush, Poliwags? Poliwag. Poliwag. Why are there so Poliwag. many of you in there? Poliwag. Hello, Poliwags. Oh. Poliwag. Okay, I thought there was one that was going to be a weird color. Ugh! Come on, thick booty, let me through! No! Fine. Do it your way. Ooh, I can almost get to that tower. Okay. We'll get this item, and it looks like it might be up for another Pokemon battle against a trainer. Ooh, another Pokeball. Nice. Use de- go away. Giant rat. Oh. Okay, let's see what I'm going up against. Just a random encounter against the Caterpie? Okay, well, let's just crush this guy with a bite. Croc, use bite. Caterpie fainted. Nice. Getting 25 experience. Oh, Jenny Jr. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep on crunching all of the Pokemon. Get rid of them. <laughs> Croc used bite. Weedle fainted. Your Croc gained experience. How many Pokemon do you have? Okay. Well, her third of her Pokemon down. And time to take out her fourth Pokemon. You won the battle. Aww. I got 32 Poke Dollars from that. I like her backpack. Maybe I'll put a backpack on my character. Because as you can see... I don't have any backpack on. My character was originally designed for just regular Minecraft. But Pixelmon, in my opinion, is more fun. In part because I hate creepers. I hate when you're playing, you're building a house, and all of a sudden, pss, boom! You got no more house. I know they're Bubbles. Too many Pokemon there, and 
Battle me, you pocket-sized caterpie. It's so small, I can't even... There we go. Uh, Ladybug. Level 3, which means my level 8 Pokemon is going to be able to take it out, unfortunately, fairly easily. We're... Okay, there it is. Ladybug. It's right over here. It's just very tiny and hard to see. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. Ladybug. Okay, now I'm going to start to throw some Pokeballs at it. Because I want this pocket-sized Caterpie. Yeah. Ladybug. Okay. Stay still, screen, and... Okay. Caterpie is confused. Caterpie, yeah. use Tackle. Ladybug. Let's try that again. Pokeball, go! Come on, Caterpie! Ladybug. I want the pocket-sized Caterpie! Yay! I got me a pocket-sized Caterpie! Now let's see what the actual oh, wrong button. Let's see what the Caterpie's uh size is. It's a pygmy! I think pygmy is the I might be mistaken, but I think it's the second um smallest version of the Pokemon you can get. I'm just gonna check something quickly. Caterpie, this one has a as you can see, a high defense, but a weakened special attack. I think Butterfree, Caterpie's last evolution is one of the Pokemon that uses its special attack more than its physical attack. So I'm just going to do a quick search on my phone. And Butterfree has a weak attack, but a high special attack. So this Pokemon, unless I get an item that allows me to change its um, its nature and therefore changing which stats are higher and lower, it's going to be a very weak Pokemon for its attack. Good defense though, which unfortunately Butterfree has a very weak defense. So I don't think I'm going to be using the pocket-sized Caterpie on my team. Yeah, Sorry, Caterpie. It's just you. You suck. Nope. 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 Ooh. An execute. You look weird. I think... Do I want a Psychic Grass Pokemon? I think I'll leave the execute for now. Okay, I'm getting close to Violet City. It must be right through there. Before I go over there, though... Liam! I found a good Pokemon in Dark dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Falconer. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. If you know how to say it, I guess type it out? Put in a comment in there if you know how to say the name. If I say something wrong, if I pronounce a Pokemon name wrong, let me know in the comments. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Okay. Now, my team right now is not prepared to go against Faulkner. If I remember correctly, which I think I'm remembering correctly, a lot of this is me trying to remember things that I don't remember since I have horrible memory, and this is also from quite a few years ago now. Faulkner is a flying type gym leader, I think. What do you have to say? Corporal Vinny. Hi, guy. Did you visit Sprout Tower? No, I have not, because I'm right here. Where's Sprout Tower? Is it back here somewhere? Oh, no, I think that's Sprout Tower up there. Okay. You look really weird. I don't like your face. Fancy. I came too far out. I'd better phone home. Okay. Violet City, the city of nostalgic sense. Well, that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification symbol, let you know when I post more stuff. But in the meantime, have yourselves an excellent day.